Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning Vance Repentance where I tried to achieve 100% and we unfortunately did lose as Eve in our previous run. We had a pretty good go of it to be honest. We actually got really close but we didn't quite get there. This time though we're going to start off us as us, us, us. We're going to start off as Samson and again depending on which path I end up taking, either going for the mother unlock or going for the um... Ooh, Spoder is straight off the bat. Yeah, going for the Mother Unlock or going for the, the Dogma and Beast and the Alt Character Unlock. It really just depends on how my first floors go. Ah, oh, shit. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. That's still good. That's still good. And we took the damage, which means we get extra damage here. Um, do you know what? Yep, I'm just going to blow you up, sir. I'm just going to blow you up. I am, I am very sorry. But there you go. And speed up as well. Okay, this is a very good start. Uh, and of course, we start with Child's Heart as Samson as well, which means uh, we should find more HP, which honestly is so damn good when you're playing Repentance Hard Mode. So I'm very happy to have that. Very happy indeed. Let's jump on in and uh, yeah, try and do as well as we can. Horfs, of course, pretty difficult enemies now. Horf, of course. Of course, of course, of horf, of course. Right. Kill him. Damn it, I can't quite get him. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to like leave the flies and then get them after. Because I think that if I'm focusing on the flies, I'll end up getting hit by the horfs. Or is that, are they, are they even called horfs? I don't think they are, are they? They're called, um, I can't remember actually. Because aren't horfs the ones that uh, fire explosives? I might be getting that wrong. Lemon Mishap. I don't actually know if Lemon Mishap got any changes. But let's take a look just in case. Uh, lemon... No, Lemon Mishap didn't get any changes. Then again, the Lemon Mishap is still an okay item as is. I was just, I was maybe thinking it had been changed to a one room charge or something, but not quite. But yeah, of course, Samson, we do, um, we do start off with, um, slightly, uh, slightly better damage by having the, um, lust, uh, Lusty Blood, where we, Bloody Lust, sorry, uh, where we take damage and gain a bit of damage. So it's quite nice. Ooh, also... Nah, Silver Doll is good, but it doesn't it doesn't do anything for us soon enough. Ooh, if we could get Spider Mod somehow. Okay, of course that didn't. I don't even know why I tried that. Um, yeah, Spider Mod would be great, especially if we go Alt Path. Um, not Alt Path, sorry. If we go Normal Path and go for the uh, the the Beast and Dogma, because the Beast doesn't have a health bar. Then again, neither does Mother. So either way, I think Spider Mod's really helpful against those bosses. Um, which. It's kind of a bold move, really, to uh, to remove the health bars from those bosses. I do understand why they did it because it does it does a few pretty pretty useful things for the for the developers, really. The main one being that it um really can you like come run over this while it's still active, please? Are oh, you absolute fool? You had to get tired right there and then, didn't you? Um. <clears throat> But yeah, it does a pretty uh, good few interesting things for the developers. For one, it stops you knowing how overpowered you are or how underpowered you are. You just kind of have a good go at it and you don't really know when the fight's going to end, which is good. But then the second thing is it hides boss armor. Uh, a lot of the big bosses in this uh, in this game, and I'm sure the uh, Dogma and, um, and the Beast have it too, they have this boss armor that means that no matter how strong you are, you can't deal over a certain amount of damage. It kind of stops you to make sure the fight lasts long enough. Of course, the more, over, the more overpowered builds do do better against them, but they don't absolutely destroy them. Um, and so what it does is it gives you a really good way of like hiding that boss armor and making the fight feel, just feel okay and feel right. And I think that's actually a really good way of doing it. Okay, Clotties are kind of annoying. We do have some, um, we do have some protection here, so we should be okay. Um, let's try and do a few, uh, a few angled shots on these guys. I think these guys, you really have to know how to do angled shots. Also, we do have really good shot speed right now, which is good. Wait a minute. Oh, I was just about to say that I didn't go to my item room. Then I realized I've got lemon mishap. Of course, I went to my item room. Yeah, as you can see, lemon mishap doing pretty good damage. There's also like a, a lemonade uh, jug that you can get, which is basically like a lemon party pill that's a space bar item, which I kind of want to have a little look at getting. Although I think that's only in the angel pool, which is an odd place for it, to be honest, but... We'll have to see. At least it was in the Angel Pool and anti -Beth. It might not be in this. I haven't seen it just yet. But let's see what we end up getting. Uh, Deal the Devils are less desirable as um, as Samson here. Because with uh, Deal the Devils, we're getting rid of our Red Hearts. And taking Red Heart damage via something like an IV bag is actually a, a pretty good way as Samson to... Um... Oh, this is dangerous. 
Uh, it's a pretty good way, really, to uh, build up your damage each floor. Especially, like I said, if you get an IV bag rather than just a banking on finding a donation machine. Uh, blood bank, sorry. Right, come on. This is kind of difficult to hit these guys, but I'm, I'm trying my best to angle my shots so that I don't stay in direct line of fire. I've also just realized there's a red fire next to me, which is rather scary. That, that thing hasn't shot at me yet, but I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, that, that works out quite well. Ah, oh, no. When they set themselves on fire, they get quite a lot of extra health and fire quite a lot faster. So I was a bit worried then, but luckily he still died in a single hit. I kind of maybe thought it would have refilled his health, but it didn't. Again, taking out the easier enemies uh, first. And take out, carry you. Come on now, die. There we go. Item room is probably back this way, so let's head back this way. Hope we get something with a bit of synergy. Also, Samson is looking a bit different. I didn't really comment on the fact that his sprites have definitely been updated. Oh, we don't have a key. Damn it. We do not have a key. Hopefully, we can get one. I will definitely use it on the item room rather than the um, rather than the uh, alt path. Just because I think it's a little more worthwhile. And it does mean that we can then just focus on going to... Um, going after Dogma and such. And trying to get our alt character unlocked. So we've got to remember, we've got to drop a trinket. There's our key. Uh, we, I don't know. We could, in theory, I'm just thinking about it now. Try and get a planetarium. Planetariums increase your chance to get them every time you skip an item room. So let's, let's, let's try that, you know? Let's try it. We've not got a great build going on or anything. But I think it's worth a go. Uh, it's something different. Planetariums have been unlocked, so we can get them, and they do include some pretty interesting items. So let's try skipping, but let's let's also like carry on the normal path. Let's not go alt path. We'll take that. Amnesia's absolutely fine right now, and honestly, pretty good for us. I'm gonna try and push him back into that if I can. Oh my god! Ah, damn it! We're not gonna get too much out of that there. In fact, we got basically nothing out of it. Uh, the damage that we're doing is real bad right now because we don't have any damage ups but we do have the empress which i completely forgot about so why not use it just speeds up the fight a little bit makes this a little bit easier for us and it is uh it is alt dingle i'm gonna keep saying alt now rather than champion but it, it is the uh, champion dingle so he's, he's only sprinting at us once makes it a hell of a lot easier and he doesn't leave any trails or anything like that you just gotta keep your distance is all there you go dingle's really not that hard i do remember when i, when I first started playing this game and dingle was like insanely difficult Right, so, I reckon we go all out here, and we we go no path. We don't even go in the deal with the devil. We look for an angel deal. Apparently, if you don't enter it, it guarantees that your next chance is angel only. It's not like a 50-50 anymore. Like, it used to be, really? Really? That was a bit rude. You just telefragged me. But we did get some damage out of it, so I can't complain too much, but a little bit annoyed by that. This guy is tanky. There you go, we got him. All of these guys are going to blow up as well. I'd rather blow them up over rocks so they don't spawn anything. Let's try and do that. I love these guys' new sprites as well. Oh, th this floor in general just is so much better now. They've resprited a bunch of enemies. Um, and then on top of all of that, they've um, they've added this like new little water effect that I'm assuming was the sort of carried over from Downpour. And then the, the amazing looking reflections as well. Also, we are not doing well against these dudes. Not doing well at all. Okay. Also, that fire rate on Samson, not too great. Ooh, hello. Um, how exactly do I do this? Okay, I've got to I've got to use a bomb to get this, but very worthwhile for what we're getting out of it. 16 uh, pen penarunskis is pretty good for me. I've done this wrong. Do, 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 do. I can't remember how to do this room now. Oh, I, I'm so bad at that room. Okay, just in case you produce any of the little bebskis. Nope, you did, and it just went the wrong way. Damn, this is why Lemon Party is not very... Um, the uh, Lemon Mishap, sorry, just isn't very good. Because you just can't get enemies to walk on the patch because it's so small. Oh, this is a nightmare. Managed to get one of them. I'm actually going to use another bomb, and it just went the complete wrong way. Great. God damn, these enemies need to stop spawning stuff. There's leeches everywhere. There's enemies everywhere. Oh my god, he spawned two as well. Heck, this is tough. Yeah, I need to make sure you're dead before I finish off these leeches. 
Otherwise, we're gonna have a bad time. Um, I'm gonna skip another item room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a huge risk. I'm gonna skip yet another item room. Go for shop. I think we take piggy bank and a soul heart. And why not? Let's take that as well. Two keys. Yeah, let's take a huge risk and try our best to get a planetarium. Just to kind of show off how they work. Right. Um, I think we do this here with that. Yep, that, that was actually a really good tactic there. Just, that's kind of the best thing to do with Lemon Hitsad. Find a stationary enemy or an enemy that doesn't move much and literally sit it on top of them. So, oh my god. I was going to say we need to take care of that enemy first, but it didn't quite work out. But... Our damage is climbing. Our damage is climbing. And we, we did just buy that Spirit Heart as well. So we still haven't lost our Angel Deal chance. Although it is only 30%. So it's not exactly high. But yeah, I want to try and go Angel Deals a little more. Just because there's more interesting items. And a lot more new items in that pool. So it's fun to find them out. <clears throat> oh, I love that little, uh, the, the little skating effect of the water behind them as they move on a lot of these enemies. It's really good. Uh, still haven't... Okay, I guess I still haven't found our item room. We've been to our item room. We still want to check every room because one of these rooms could be a planetarium. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, planetariums are essentially kind of like Zodiac symbol rooms where there's a bunch of new planetarium-based symbols that all have pretty unique and different powers. And there's a, there's a few in there that are really, really powerful. Um... And, uh, yeah, they, they show up based on when you skip item rooms. At base level, they have a 1% chance of showing up. So even if you go to all your item rooms, you can still get them. Um, but if you skip an item room, it increases it by 20% every floor. So it's really worth skipping a few item rooms and trying to get them. Also, I want to try out a, a theory that I have with them. I don't know if it'll work, but I have a little I have a little theory with, uh, with how to maybe quite possibly... Oh, this is terrible with how to quite possibly abuse the planetarium mechanics and try and get both a planetarium and our item rooms. And yeah, like I said, I'm unsure if it'll end up working. Also, that was very nice to see. Please, no leeches for me. I can't tell if this... Yeah, this is a leech, dude. Okay. Probably want to kill the hosts first, really, but we've already committed, haven't we? Oh, I got stuck. At least we're getting money from Piggy Bank. Yeah, let's, let's kill the hosts first. Seems like a good idea, honestly. There we go. Got him. Let's get you to move. Oh, my God. He was a bit spicy. Right. So, we didn't find one this floor. So, but the thing is, next floor, our chance has gone up to 40%. Or 41%, should I say. Uh, so, it's, it's, a, it's very, very likely that we'll get one next floor. And if we skip another one, it's extremely likely. I say very likely. 40% isn't exactly extremely likely. But... The thing is, you've got to remember that it kind of compounds. We had 20% this floor and then 40% next floor. So you're kind of adding them two together. Nice. Oh, and half soul heart there as well. Awesome. I always think with Samson, it can be quite deceptive because when you're getting hit and stuff, you're getting your damage built up and the next floor you go down and you realize, oh shit, that wasn't my actual damage. That was my augmented damage by being hit a bunch on that floor. Got you. We got the stapler, which is just straight damage, which is quite nice. Um, we're going to go down again. Um, and yeah, come on, planetarium, planetarium, give us one. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. We did see one on the picker challenge, but we got a trinket from that room because that's how that challenge works. So we didn't really get to see the, uh, the full-fledged version. Also, very nice. Uh, our speed shouldn't take too big of a hit here either because we have very good speed. So we shouldn't notice it too much. And that's just, yeah, we've, we've now got very good flat damage. We've basically doubled our flat damage. So we don't really have to worry about getting hit to be able to kill everything. Which is a problem that you kind of have with Samson if you don't get damage up. So you feel like you have to play the blood banks or actually take damage on purpose so that you can kill things a bit quicker. If you if you go like three or four floors without, uh, without a damage upgrade, it really feels like you're getting forced into that. Definitely feeling our low range right now. Definitely feeling that. Okay, good. We're doing okay against these guys. This room can be a little frustrating just because you've got to sort of walk around this annoying little maze quite a lot. Okay, um, oh, damn. Got you, one more guy. And we got him. Good, yeah, it's kind of like an annoying little maze you got to walk through, but this has been in the game since, like, 
the launch of Rebirth, I think. It's hard to tell what, what rooms came in when, <clears throat> because like, the designs obviously are so similar. They're all they're all made in a particular way. I think the Repentance ones definitely stand out a bit, because normally, um, uh, I, I'm not sure who made them, I think it was SAG, but the, they definitely stand out a little bit more. Okay, so now that we've got this damage up, we can especially leave item rooms and not have to worry. So again, I'm going to ignore another item room. And then up our uh, up our chance to 60%. And just hope that that, uh, that works out for us. Oh, you stole my charge. Doesn't exactly matter with the item we're using, but hey-ho. Yep, that's exactly why I came in here. Um, very much want a soul heart, just to keep us going. Uh, if we're going to go dogma fight, we're going to need a lot of health. Uh, we're mainly doing this now, though, for the... Um, we're mainly doing this now for the thingy chance. Uh... Uh, the, the chance of unlocking Alt Samson rather than the Dogma fight because this run isn't exactly killing it, is it? But, like I said, if we get ourselves a Planetarium or something, we might be able to change those odds quite a bit. So we're going to move around and, and, and see what's going on. Um, and like I said, there's a chance we can still get those items if, if what I'm thinking of actually works. It might not. We also do need to drop our... Um, we do need to drop our trinket in an item room at some point. So we're on caves one at the minute. We probably want to do it on depths one or two. Okay, we've got one of these double key rooms here. I don't really think we need to uh, bother with that. Gonna have some chests in it, but... <clears throat> oh, that's nice. <clears throat> oh, I do apologize. A pair throw rune here is great. An extra soul heart is even better. Love to see it. Oh, and an extra soul heart here as well. There we go. That is a perfect... Perfect use of lemon mishap. You won't hear me say that often, but that was a really good placement because we just managed to kill an entire segment in one go. And it does a lot of damage if there's an enemy sitting on it for a long time. But yeah, there's another spirit heart. Uh, we've got a library here as well. We'll definitely pop in here. And... Hmm. <clears throat> I think we go with... We definitely take them all for Bookworm. Hmm. I will use this once. <clears throat> I was debating using it uh, because I wanted to um, I wanted to not get the deal of the devil on this boss fight. But do you know what? I think it's worth it. Also, Bookworm here being a significant damage up for us. And I'm going to take Book of Revelations because I'd rather get the horsemen as my bosses than get my deal of the devils going. Actually, would I? I think the deal of the devils might be better. Let's go with the deal of the devils. <clears throat> Although that does increase our angel chance. Yeah, let's let's keep this for this floor then. It's something different anyways. We've seen Book of uh, we've we've seen the Satanic Bible before. Book of Revelations is something a bit different for us. I know that it hasn't really been changed at all. Oh damn. Oh damn. Bad damage. We did just gain a lot of health though, so that's not uh, not terrible really. Ooh, what we could do as well, actually, is we could pair through all those books and see what else we get. I know that it'll still reroll into books, but we still might get something good. So I think we should go for our angel room first and see if we get anything good out of that. But then come back and try and uh, try and check out what, what's going on with that. Thank you. Right, let's go. I think if you hold the um, the crystal. If you have Magic 8 Ball, if you, have, if you have Crystal Ball, it increases your chance for a thingy as well, a Planetarium. So we still didn't get one, so we're definitely on the unlucky side of things at the moment. But let's see what we get, hopefully, in the Angel deal we're going to get here. Also, new Pestilence is looking amazing. I mean, after seeing the Mega Pestilence, whatever you want to call them, the, the Beast one, it's definitely uh, not quite as cool as that, but this is still a really nice Resprite. I really like that a lot. I, I I was wondering, like, they respritted all of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and it's definitely for that reason. They respritted them to more closely fit with their uh, beast counterparts. There you go. Oh, oh my god. The, the fact that the creep puddles are so big with this guy. There's that angel deal. Very strange. <laughs> now we've got to pay a heart for an orbital. Odd. Holy light, I am just going to take that straight up. Definitely not going to take that deal. Uh, let's go and re-roll our books and just see if there's another book that we'd rather hold. I doubt it, but there's new books. Are we like I don't think we've unlocked it yet, but Book of Virtues could be in there. If it's not an unlockable, it might just be in the pool already. But why not try? Why not try? So we got Book of the Dead, Telepathy for Dummies, 
or um, Booker Belial. We're definitely going to stick with Booker Revelations, but it was worth a shot, right? It was worth a shot. Right, let's go. And let's hope. We have like a, what is it? Is it 60 or are we on 80 now? We have a very high percent chance of a, a planetarium on this next floor here. We should see one. Let's hope. Because I really want to see some planetarium items because they're really, really cool. There's some of them, there's like two or... Like, all of them are good, but there's like two or three of them that are like really good. Oh, that was stupid. Um, cool. We did get hit though, which means we get a bit of extra damage. Also, we have Holy Light now as well, and Holy Light's amazing. And has great sound effects too. Okay, use that. Let's go. I wonder if there's any any specific interaction for bringing um for bringing Book of Revelations to the uh, to the new boss because obviously it's all of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I wonder. That's kind of an interesting interesting thought there. Oh, this is a a strange room. Okay, so we do have a trinket there. Let's let's remember that because we might want to leave that uh leave that by the wayside in our item room for this floor. Is that item room. Still don't want to go in that yet, though. It might have even... You know, I'm doing all of this, and it might have. It might not even work this way in Repentance. This is just the way it worked in Anti-Birth, and I'm assuming they kept it that way. It might not even work this way anymore. Oh, Hol Holy Light might be better than it was before. I don't know if it's just because it's got a, it's got a unique sound effect now, and, it, and it's like his visuals seem to be a bit more clean. But it definitely feels more powerful. Like it shakes the screen. It just it adds to it adds to the power. It might not actually be any stronger, but it feels it. I'm just shooting at the front of this guy because yeah, there you go. The Holy Light shot will kill him. Don't care about that. Okay, got you. Book of Revelations, giving us that extra health. Very, very nice. Yeah, Book of Revelations is still one of the, like, key items to get a good run going, in my opinion. Holy Light has definitely augmented our damage a bunch as well. I think Holy Light has been removed from item pools now as well. Like, it's no longer in the, uh... It's no longer in the... In the treasure room pool. It's only in the, uh... Angel pool. I'm, I'm glad, though, because it means that angel deals are now a little more, um, something that you want a bit more. Come on, planetarium. You've got, like, two more chances on this floor to show up. Come on. There's our shop. One more chance to show up. That was close. I don't know why I even attempt to do what I just did there. This is some stupid movement by me here. Do not repeat what I'm doing. At least these ghosts die a bit quicker now, and the show up a bit faster too. Definitely go in here. Buy a soul heart. Didn't realise I didn't have enough to buy the item. Whoops. Do you know what? I'm not going to buy the item. I'm just going to buy a key. I want to have my keys for opening my uh, item rooms when we go back up. I don't even know if you'll need a key, but I think you do. Come on, planetarium, please. Damn, we are getting unlucky. If, this, if it works the same way as before, we are getting real unlucky. Right, get that and that. Right, so next floor, we go, we're, we're going to the item room no matter what next floor. Um, and we're going to drop a trinket in it. Remember, we're going to drop a trinket in it. Do not forget that part. That is very important. <laughs> I forgot that part once before, and I'm hoping to not make that mistake again. So we do have a, um, a ball of bandages here or whatever it's going to be. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You moved a bit quicker than normal there. Again, Resprite on War, looking fantastic. Look at his little face bouncing, it's great. See, the, uh, th this run, uh, I was saying about Tinted Rocks, we've not seen hardly any this run. Or, or, or any at all, maybe. Uh, we somehow got a Devil Deal there. Don't really know how or why. Uh, we'll use that. We'll grab that. I guess I'll check in here. Yeah, I'll take one on a whim. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, then let's jump on down. And yeah, okay. Planetarium should have an 80% chance of showing up this floor. If if what I've done is correct. It sh we should really see you on this floor. If not, we got majorly unlucky. Or it's it doesn't work the way that I thought it did. It's been changed from anti-birth. 
It could just be a complete random chance now. Boom. Hey, we got one. We got one. Yes. Here it is. And we got... This room looks so fucking cool. We got Soul. Soul is like the one singular... The one singular item that does absolutely nothing for us. So Soul's really cool if you get it early. What it does is when you beat your boss, it removes any curses... It activates a sun card, which fully heals you uh, and reveals the entire floor and gives you a three damage up for the rest of the floor. But we are on the last floor that has a boss and its mum. So that was pretty, pretty worthless, sadly. Pointy rib. Good. Also, let's uh, drop our trinket. That, that was um, sadly just a little bit disappointing. Still, cool to see, but not really what we were looking for, considering it really means nothing to us. That is uh, sad times. This room's still a bit broken. You just push him in straight into the, uh, by, into the spikes. It's kind of funny. But it does mean that we can get all our item rooms on the way back. And we might get something really good. So that is something that seems to work. Uh, just I just need to check if now the items are actually in there or not. If they're not, then then this doesn't really work. But if they are, then good way of getting a planetarium. I thought it'd be pretty guaranteed this floor. I, the one thing I don't know is once you've got a planetarium, does your chance to get another planetarium continue to the next floor? So if I skip, if I get one on my 60% chance, I've skipped three, four item rooms and I get a 60% chance and I get one. And then I go to my next floor, but skip my item room again. Does that mean that I then have an 8% chance to the next floor? Does it reset? Uh, my chances back to back to 20% for one item room skipped or can you just not get one? I'm not a hundred percent sure Troll bombs Health is looking good at least and like I said, we've, we've actually got good damage with holy light and now pointy rib as well Pointy rib is one of those items that I never really highly rated and now I know it's it's pretty heckin good Ah, oh, you shit I tried. I tried to dodge it, but I could not. Um, is he a charge baby? I think he is. That's pretty good for us. Give me, give me, give me some more. Have we been to our shop? We've not been to our shop. No, okay, we haven't, but that's okay. I'd rather just take the charges off this guy, honestly. And money's worth more uh, spent on this dude. Basically, this guy's giving us soul hearts, so seems good to me. Look at this. Two charges for like five coins. Pretty good. I'd pay that every single day. Come on, last few ones. Give us an item. Give us an item. Do you know what? That's pretty fantastic. Didn't quite get you to pay out, but that's pretty fantastic. Okay, we got Red Mum, which means big stompy foot constantly. We do have an Orbital, but she does contact damage on her foot now, so... Not quite as good as it used to be with orbitals. Before, you could literally mash into her, but now you actually do take damage if you do that, which I think is a great change. She was a bit too easy to cheese with orbitals, especially Red Mum, when it's just basically all foot. It's all foot. There we go. There's the soul thing uh, activating. We got a devil deal. Let's take this one this time, the Polaroid, and see if it changes anything. We've been taking the negative pretty much every time so far. I guess we'll check this and take nothing. And let's get out of here. Oh, the soul effect is really cool on us now. Uh, but yeah, now we have like full mapping and everything. So now that we have full mapping, we should probably at least go and get our secret room, right? <gasps> Don't know if I want to spend on here, that to be honest. Okay, we've got a few things we can do now. We want to stay on this floor for a little longer than I was expecting, but this room is crazy. Quickly get rid of you. The world, judgment. Okay, everyone we get a key from, I'll open another. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. I'm going down to three keys. Right, no more. 
I want to keep my keys just in case I need them. Um, quickly going to go this way and play the charge baby a little more. Just because we might get an item out of it. And we've got the speed as well, so it doesn't it's not, it's not exactly like it takes long. Because we can get one more spirit heart out of this guy as well. And like I said, he's very close to paying out with an item, or at least he should be. At the minute, he's just giving us charges and nothing more. I mean, I am grateful, my lad. I am I am thankful for this, but could you please pay out? Oh my god. He does not want to pay out. How many coins do you want, little brother? Really going to take all of these? Really? That is insane. That guy, <laughs> that guy took everything that I had. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's go. Back to our starting room, wherever, it he wherever the hell it is. I actually can't remember. Ooh, do you know how I said I didn't really want to spend any extra keys? Yeah, I've not actually put the Polaroid into this door before. I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't actually know. We're on Genna, but this is why I wanted to keep my keys as well, because we've got things we want to open on this floor too. We should have the damage like requisite to, to be okay on this floor. Okay, let's use that. Holy light should carry us through. We could just Emperor, but we do have stuff on this floor that we want to do. Okay, right. Let's, um... Do you know what? Let's Emperor. Ah, oh, you can't leave. Stupid me. Doesn't matter. We missed out on an item. It's fine. I, I, what I was going to do is Emperor, then leave so that we get the soul bonus. Or see if we got the soul bonus at least. We can still go to it this floor. Ow. Oh, the spikes there. Fuck. We're taking some stupid damage here. But don't worry. We've got triple A battery. Um, triple A battery on our uh, book of secret, uh, book of revelations. So we shouldn't shouldn't have to wait too long before we can use that again. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is the spikes at the side of the door, you stupid game? Uh, <laughs> that was some bad hits right there. Real bad hits. You just walked on the spikes there, my dude. That wasn't a good idea from you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm being rather dumb right now. Yeah, we should be fine. Whippy boys, keep them back. Does this open automatically? It does not. Pyra? Hmm. Pyro Tough Love. Pyro definitely seems like the right way to go. Tough Love's good, but Pyro definitely seems like the right way to go. Okay, Depths 2. We definitely went to this item room. Oh, that's the crossway, you bastard. And there's also a key there that I need that uh, I can no longer get to. I'm so annoyed that I spent a random key on that fucking key block. Okay, so that our our trinket is on this floor in our item room. So this should open automatically upon us uh, finishing this room. Good. It did. And we should have our thing here. There we go. Found it. Nice one. There's a key. Good, good. Nothing else this floor that we need. But every other floor should still have an item on it. Oh, ho, ho, holy light. And another key. Yes. Just shut up. Oh my god. I, the dialogue's so fucking chilling. Okay, be careful of the heads. We should be fine against them though. Oh my god. But yes, once this, like, if we find out that this this item room does still have an item in it, We've just found a really cool way with once you've unlocked planetariums to play this fight. To get, like, get yourself a planetarium item and or everything else. It does. I mean, it's fucking Abel, but... I mean, Abel might have changed. Abel might be different. Let's even check, because Abel was terrible before. Abel, Abel, if you're Abel. 
Abel now has increased rate of fire. If picked up by Cade, it shoots blood tears that damage becomes 5 instead of 3.5. So, basically, he just fires quicker now. That still, that doesn't really make him good, but... Hey, her. But, we're getting items. Also, this now costs money. Strange. We figured that out the last time, though, I think, didn't we? Nice. Nope, we always want to go to the item room because we're always going to get something good from it. Although, we are going to have to fight some of these harder enemies. Oh, my God. We are going to have to fight some of these harder enemies that only show up on these floors. Whoa, I love these guys, too. Holy shit. I wonder if this... Like, I've been saying this quite a few times, but I wonder if there's, like, any unlocks or anything that make these enemies show up um, on normal floors. I'd, I kind of love that because I'd love to see these guys more often. Right, item room... 2020. That's good shit. So we definitely do still need to, to um, open them up. We have, so we still need to spend a key, but... You are insane. I was reading some theories about uh, about the ending recently, and people have been saying that it's not that it's all just made up and it's Isaac's story. The, people think that he is actually from a broken family, a broken home, um, and that uh, the actual case is that they got back together, and this is Isaac's retelling of it all. But, the, but all this stuff did actually happen. It's not just made up for Isaac's story. This this stuff is all stuff that actually happened to him, and this is just his way of dealing with it. And his dad's trying to be sort of the the person to to help Isaac get through it and talk about how his how he feels about the situation, and that's why he's like, let's tell a nice one this time because he's trying to change Isaac's feelings and trying to make him better, make him understand that it's not all doom and gloom sort of thing. Nice one. I like that uh, that idea of the ending quite a lot. Nice. We are doing great on HP here. And like I said, our items so far have been pretty good. Multidimensional baby isn't fantastic, but I will take it. I can't remember. Did we skip an item on this floor? Or did we start a little later than that? Oh, it's this guy again. I do love this enemy. All of these, like, secret extra enemies on this, these floors are really good. I just wish they were, they, were, they were a bit more common and it was less of the, like, rooms like this, which is literally a room that shows up on basement. Look at that, dude. But yeah, more shots that we're firing with, with both Bookworm and uh, Duck 2020 means more Holy Light shots. Which should mean more damage, because I don't think Holy Light's damage actually is affected by your damage. Although this guy... Holy shit, this dude's tanky as shit. I mean, he spawned basically one of every fly in the game when he died, so I can understand it. Oh, and this dude as well. This dude's tanky too. I wonder how long it's going to take to kill him. I do love this enemy though. Just two conjoined heads. But yeah, it sort of has these like pseudo mini boss enemies in, in this area. Got him. And there's our charge back. And this is an actual mini boss. Nothing much there for us. Ooh, I'm glad that it didn't take me through then. I was really expecting that it would. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. We are now taking officially too much damage. Oh, really? Where's Where the hell's the item room? <laughs> It's so far away from the the, uh, the light. Here it is. God damn, these enemies are the worst. Okay, this one is still locked as well, so this one does have something in it. The rosary, uh, not very. Oh wait, the rosary is a fire rate up now. Okay, that's great. They changed the rosary. Thank you. This is why I want to. I want to be picking up like items that I don't normally pick up because they have changed. Right, we definitely went to item room one though, didn't we? Because we got. I think we got speedball, didn't we? Or was that from our boss? 
Oh no, we got lem we was it lemon mishap we got? Was that this run? I think it was, wasn't it? Lemon mishap, yes, I'm pretty sure. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh god, hearing this in the background. It's making me feel things. Multidimensional baby's actually been great for us at the moment as well. You get set up right and do a lot of damage with him. Holy fuck. Holy light is popping off too. Ah, shit. We should have a pretty good run going here for Dogma and such though. This should be a this should be a pretty a pretty good one. Oh my god. This second thing. This this dude can fight us so many tears and he's so strong. He's so tanky. He's so hard to hit too, he just jumps around like a mad lad. Good, good. Yeah, this this item room's not locked luck, so we haven't been in this one. I mean this is first floor anyways, but still. Yeah. Thought so. Do you know what? Fantastic that we got that there. Holy shit. Fantastic. This will be the light room. Yes, thought so. Let's go. Up we go. Up we go. Right, what you got for us? Just some hearts. This room contains a single bomb. Can't believe we got a hero font card from there once. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. We get that every time then, I think. No. Samson, you are unlocked. Ooh, Samson is looking charred. Wow. The Savage. The Bible, of course the Bible was going to show up. I, I would like to see if the Bible does anything on this fight. But I'm pretty sure we will get a charge out of Book of Revelations if we keep it. And I do want to see what it does against, if it does anything cool against the, um, the Sins. Because it, it definitely seems like it, like it could. Okay. Dogma, I'm ready for you this time. I am ready for you. I know how to dodge some of your harder attacks now. I have learned. I've watched videos. Hopefully we can make it happen. Also, Holy Light on this boss is very thematic. Oh, that, that attack just hit me twice in a row, okay. Didn't expect to get hit by that one, but I kind of forgot how bad that attack was. Okay, good. One phase down. Okay. What's he starting off with? This one, that's okay. Oh, we just we just got an Incubus from um, a Cambian Conception. That's so good. Yeah, I, I can see that one coming. Okay, we can shoot over the TV. I didn't actually know that. Okay, he's doing it. So this is how you do it. You basically got to massively relocate yourself and then dodge as they split up. Okay, you're off screen right now, dude. That's not fair. But we got him. We got him. That was a lot better than last time. And I can't believe we just got an Incubus from Cambion Conception. That is, that's just up to our DPS by literally double. Right, let's go. Yeah, it's up to our DPS so much. Up to our holy light shots and everything. And we got a charge on this thing. Didn't seem to do anything there, but oh. I always forget you get a holy mantle to start this. I'm guessing that's for like the loss and the keeper more than anything. Just so them guys actually have a chance in here. Ow. Got him. Oh, wait, he's got a second phase. Forgot about that. This second phase is actually really hard because the shots are very random. Okay, we got him. We are doing amazing damage right now. Pestilence is definitely the hardest one, in my opinion. He has some really, really annoying attacks. This one in particular is pretty bad for us. We got his head off, good. This is bad. We're knocking this thing around way too much for it to be safe. Okay, we got him. Oh, yeah, we are killing these guys fast. Come on, War. War's also a pretty difficult one too, to be honest. The amount of holy light shots we're thro throwing out at the minute though. Very, very good. Oh, I got direct impacted by it. Shit. 
Okay, I think he fell. Yes, he did. Good. As long as he doesn't do the fire thing in the wrong position, the fire thing's pretty easy to dodge. Yeah, we got we got him. This is insanely good damage. And we got a charge as well. Yeah, this is exactly why I kept that. I wanted to see if it did anything thematically, but getting the charge here is great too. This is definitely one of the easiest attacks. I'm not saying I'm not going to get hit by it, but it definitely feels like one of the easier ones. Okay, it's his friends. Yeah, we got him. Good, good. There goes your scythe, and in comes the big boy himself. In comes the big boy himself. I love the way this guy looks. It's crazy. Apparently, these spikes do actually deal damage to him as well if he gets hit by them. God damn. It's fire time. Oh my god, this this fight is so epic. I love this so much. Oh, every single time he gets me with that. I can never predict it. Okay. We're on to the last phase. We're on to the last phase, people. This Incubus saved us. It actually did. I can't believe I took Campion Conception on a whim by accident and it ended up paying off so well. I, I love how thematic it is killing him with Holy Light too. Like, Holy Light did most of our damage there. There we go. We got it. The Empty Heart. Awesome. What a run. I hope you guys did enjoy this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.